to convince your preferred audience to agree with your point of view, choosing a good, compelling language issue is crucial. In order to make a convincing speech, you must also select a topic for which you have a passion, as you will see in the following example of a convincing speech. Make sure your target audience does not do this if you do not care about the topic you've chosen. The purpose of a persuasive speech is to convince your audience to agree to an idea or opinion presented by you. You can make an effective persuasive speech by structuring your argument as a solution to a problem. Your first role as a speaker is to convince your audience that a particular issue is important to them, and then you have to convince them that you have the solution to make things better. Using an attention-grabbing device is a powerful way to start a compelling speech. If you make your audience laugh, think about a personal experience, or tell an anecdote that evokes emotions, they are more likely to listen to the content of your reasoning. The effectiveness of a convincing speech also depends on factors that go beyond the words of speech. The willingness of the public to accept a new perspective, the speaker's body language and the environment in which the speech is made can influence the success of a convincing speech. The ultimate goal of a compelling speech is not that the audience has information, but that it has a particular point of view. Convincing speeches may use the same techniques as informational speeches, but they can also use emotions to convince the audience. A common cry against certain persuasive speeches is that they rely too much on emotions and too little on facts. A compelling speech that succeeds in convincing the audience to accept a view based on erroneous or misleading information is unethical. While facts are compelling, the audience wants to know how your reasoning, whether it's information or a product, influences them personally. A speech could be written brilliantly with all the relevant facts and supporting evidence, but if it is not presented emotionally, the main message is lost. An emotional speaker will try to include all the basic needs of the human being in a motivational speech. In short, this is a text that contains important information about a topic to convince the audience, be it your classroom or a large scientific meeting, of your opinion. An effective, convincing speech should be clear, concise, and argumentative, so that the message you want to communicate is easily recognizable. The sentences and words should not be academic, not complicated or difficult to understand. Convincing conversations can be conducted on any topic or social question that you have a certain opinion about and that you want to share with someone. Hopefully, this example of a compelling speech will give you some ideas to structure the delivery of your claims. Make sure you write about something you firmly believe. Free your mind is a good open source option, or use a large sheet of paper or poster with a theme in the middle. After a while, you often see connections and key issues that point to a topic or passion that you need to talk about. When writing a compelling design, the first thing to think about is your topic. Otherwise, you might want to review your topic selection before proceeding with the outline. Convincing presentations are not all the same, and there may be different requirements for the outline format. For example, you may be prompted to write a compelling essay design with a specific width, height, and other formatting guidelines. An example of a process-oriented language design. It provides information on how to eat a healthy lifestyle in a busy lifestyle. The organization pattern is more topical than chronological, and in this outline phrases are used instead of complete sentences that represent an alternative to the complete sentence language. If you need to give a short speech or can count on being able to prepare and deliver your speech, this overview may fit your needs. Some people are born with eloquence and ingenuity, which makes it easier for them to influence the public. The outline should give the main idea as it will be the focus of the speech. The problem occurs when you do not know which of the many existing samples is the right one. The ultimate goal is to write a speech that is convincing enough for your audience. Once the students have written a rough draft of the persuasive speech, it is important that they revise each other. You can give feedback as to whether the speech is convincing and how it can be improved. When creating the groups, you want to make sure that different skill levels are grouped together. Students often need a different perspective to make sure that the argument they make is clear and reasonable. You can write a factual speech about why Steve Jobs will always be a brand icon for Apple for years, 
even posthumously. You may need to write a convincing keynote address for the assignment, such as, for example, a speech to the student council explaining why one of the school rules should be changed. Or it could be a convincing speech that deals mainly with moral issues.